Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Know About Embedded System. In today's video, I'll explain you one of the very important topic that's called as a WDT. It is also called as Watchdog Timer. So what, what is a Watchdog Timer and how the Watchdog Timer is going to work in the embedded system and what are the advantages of your Watchdog Timer. So all these things we will discuss in today's video. But before starting the video, if you are a new viewer to my channel, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel and gain the knowledge on embedded system. Let us start the video here, Watchdog Timer. So guys, if you are developing any embedded system application, it is it is important to know what is the role of uh, what is the role of watchdog timer and how we have to configure the watchdog timer see basically watchdog timer is used as a protecting circuit for the microcontroller whenever microcontroller enters into error conditions whenever microcontroller is not not working properly then someone has to reset the microcontroller so if your embedded system application is deployed in the remote areas it is not possible from the human beings so in that situation so watchdog timer will play a very important role in order to reset the microcontroller so ultimately what is the role of watchdog timer here what a watchdog timer is used to reset the microcontroller whenever microcontroller enters into error scenario so you so watchdog timer basically it is a timer it is again a countdown timer please remember here watchdog timer is not up counter it is a countdown timer okay so whenever okay that i'll explain later so we'll understand what is a watchdog timer so watchdog timer so watchdog timer is an electronic timer that resets the microcontroller when microcontroller is not respond uh, it's not responding properly or if microcontroller enters into error situation so when our microcontroller and er enters into error situation your watchdog timer will trigger and it will start resetting the microcontroller so what is the main primary function of a watchdog timer? The primary function of a watchdog timer is to reset the microcontroller whenever software or hardware, both. It is not only software. So both software and hardware fails. Okay. Yeah. So of course, since it is a one of the safety feature which is available in the microcontroller and it is a critical safety mechanism. This is what I told. This is used as a safety feature in the microcontroller, not only in microcontroller, it is one of the same it is a safety feature which is available in the microcontroller in order to safeguard your embedded system okay yeah so watchdog timer is also used to wake up the microcontroller so that means uh, sometimes microcontroller will, may enter into a deep sleep mode or sleep mode in that situation also watchdog timer is used to reset and uh, to trigger the microcontroller to wake up the microcontroller Okay, if, okay, uh, watchdog timer will reset the microcontroller only whenever it is entering into the error scenario. So, so please remember here. So, whenever the microcontroller enters into error scenario, then watchdog timer will reset the microcontroller. Let us assume that the normal operation, if there is no any error is up, not happened. So, in if you are working in a normal operation, watchdog timer should not reset microcontroller if your microcontroller is working properly then wdt nothing but watchdog timer should not reset the microcontroller so that means who is going to take care of this part if it is in normal if microcontroller is normal then the software programmer or software program or embedded software is responsible for feeding the watchdog timer or properly configuring the watchdog timer whenever your microcontroller is working in a normal operation so you can see here embedded software is responsible for feeding watchdog timer at a regular regular interval which which resets the watchdog timer in a initial with the initial value so that means watchdog timer should not reset and we have to develop a code in such a way that it should not reset whenever it is in normal operation so just watchdog timer should reset only whenever there is an error Okay, so there is an error, then only we have to reset. So this is the responsibility of our software and resetting mechanism is the responsibility of watchdog timer. I hope this is clear. Let us go to the so block diagram of your 
watchdog timer how it works so this is a simplified block diagram of your watchdog timer so usually watchdog timer will be available or it will be residing inside the microcontroller but for understanding purpose i am showing outside the microcontroller so this watchdog timer will be available inside the microcontroller so in the watchdog timer basically it is a counter mechanism it's basically fundamental it's a down counter it is watchdog timer so what watchdog timer will do so we have to supply that clock you can see here we are supplying clock to the microcontroller and we have to do the configuration for watchdog timer and then clock will be supplied to clock will be supplied to the watchdog timer okay now the important thing lies here this part so whatever you are seeing here the condition block whatever i have mentioned here if everything is fine you can see here if the software and hardware both are normal then what we have to do we have to reset the watchdog timer we should see there are two mechanisms are there we have to reset the watchdog timer and we have to reset the microcontroller okay whenever software and hardware both are in normal condition so try to understand the uh, whichever i have highlighted here software and hardware both are in normal condition then i don't want to reset my microcontroller the reset should happen only whenever there is abnormal if software and both hardware are normal then i have to reset the watchdog timer and then i'm going to enter into normal operation of your microcontroller okay if software and hardware both are normal so we have one more condition here you can see if software and hardware at least any one is not working properly whether it is a software or a hardware if any one thing is not working properly then watchdog timer we have to allow watchdog timer to run count down and after counting down it is going to reset the microcontroller there are two scenarios reset the microcontroller whenever software and hardware are not working properly and when both are working properly we have to take care nothing but software has to take care in order to reset the watchdog timer periodically so that your microcontroller will work in a normal operation so this is a simplified explanation of your watchdog timer and the same thing i kept it here the counter mechanism is nothing but watchdog timer will be acting as a counter as a down counter software interaction that means every time software should check both hardware and software whether software is working properly and hardware is working properly okay and the embedded software is responsible for feeding the watchdog timer at the regular interval of time to avoid unwanted reset that means if both are working properly you just we have to reset the watchdog timer not your microcontroller then malfunction detection whenever there is a software or a hardware fault that is called as a malfunction reset and at, at that time so software will not reset the watchdog timer and watchdog timer will wait for small time maybe one second or two second then it is going to reset the microcontroller so this is a mechanism how watchdog timer is used to reset the microcontroller i hope this is clear how it will reset the one more simple diagram i have taken here so this is my microcontroller again same thing but in a, another way i have taken this is my microcontroller and uh, this is my watchdog timer inside the watchdog timer so there will be something called wdt counter nothing but watchdog timer counter okay so whenever microcontroller detects error state nothing but software error or hardware fault so whenever there is a software or hardware fault watchdog timer will start counting down and uh, timeout value will be like when timeout value will be loaded to watchdog timer and watchdog timer will start counting down here you can see it countdown starts so whenever error status is there we we have to feed the value and microcontroller a uh, watchdog timer will start counting down and counting down and whenever it reaches with a minimum value the, for a watchdog timer minimum value is ff when it reaches with a ff it is going to reset the microcontroller so this is how internally it is going to work and a different flags are used to indicate whether watchdog reset happened or not a special register which will store the flag indication whether last reset was occurred by watchdog time watchdog reset or not okay so like that so watchdog timer reset will happen <clears throat> so what are the advantages of uh, watchdog timer see again i would say here without watchdog timer it is not possible to design an embedded system so you know that already one of the safety feature which is available in the microcontroller in order to protect microcontroller and also to protect the 
entire embedded system. So it, it increases the reliability. So with the help of Wasdrock Timer, we can build a reliable embedded system so that whenever there is a software problem or whenever there is a hardware fault, will be there. It uh, Wasdrock Timer is used to reset the microcontrol so that entire embedded system will be protected properly. Fail safe operation. So it's again similar thing. Whenever there is a failure happen with respect to hardware and software, so Watchdog Timer will pitch in and it will start resetting the microcontroller. Autonomous recovery. That means so whenever whenever the human intervention is not possible, the, the embedded system which are deployed in a remote places. So wherever it is not possible to reset physically, we will use Watchdog Timer. Okay. So these are all. Many advantages are there, but these are all very popular one. Applications. Application, I would say in all industrial embedded system application, including automotive system, consumer electronics, all regular embedded system, wherever embedded system is there, wherever safety is required, definitely we will use Watchdog Timer, including automotive, consumer electronics, medical instruments, and so on. Okay. So this is a Watchdog Timer. So if you feel this video is an informative video, so please click on like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.